Charlie and I don't pay any attention to macro forecasts. You know, we have worked together now for 54 years, and I can't think of a time when we made a decision on a, on a stock uh, or on a company where a macro discussion, where we've talked about macro, and, and, and you know, we don't, we don't know, you know what things are going to look like in any precise way. And, and, and incidentally, we, naturally, we think if we don't know, nobody else knows. That's a little conceit that we have. <laughs> and uh, uh, so we, you know, why talk, why spend time talking about something you really don't know, don't know anything about? You know, I mean, it, it, people do it all the time, but it, it's, it's not very productive. So we talk about the businesses. And uh, uh, I like Bill Gross. It sounds like Lloyd Benson, you know, uh, back in the, <laughs> he's a friend of mine. Uh, but I don't, it doesn't make any difference to me what he thinks about the future. It doesn't make any difference to me, you know, what, uh, what any economist uh, thinks about it. I have a general feeling that America will continue to work well. And I don't, you know, that there's all, throughout my adult lifetime and before that, there's always been all kinds of opinions that, you know, about what's going to happen this year or the next year or anything like that. And nobody knows. Uh, what you do know, with a very high degree of certainty in my view, is that BNSF will be carrying more carloads 10 years from now, 20 years from now, that, that there will be no substitute uh, for the service that they provide, that there will be two important railroads in the West and two important railroads in the East. Uh, and that they will have an asset that has incredible replacement value. Nobody could turn out something like it, and that they'll get paid fairly for for what they do. And it's not it's not very complicated. And to, to ignore what you know because of predictions about what you don't know or what and, and what nobody else knows in our view, it's just plain plain silly. Uh, so we don't we don't have anything against somebody talking about a new normal or an old normal or an in-between normal, but it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything to us. My own guess is that, that people will do very well owning good businesses if they don't pay too much for them, uh, you know, whether they hold them for 10 years or 20 years or 30 years. And if they try and time their purchases in some way by listening to forecasts about what's going to happen in business and try and buy and sell them, uh, they're going to do very well for their broker and not so well for themselves. Charlie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but of course, when we have a lot of money, we have to do something with it. So we're going to do our thing no matter what the external climate is. If you're a busy surgeon and trying to decide whether to work two more years before you retire, then you're, you may be more interested, and rationally so, in the new normal. And I would personally advise the guy to work an extra couple of years.